People of Australia, one thing I really want to make very clear is that 50% of fish keeping is the quality of your fish food and 50% of fish keeping is the quality of your water. Now, I was extremely shocked to find out that the largest selling product in the aquarium industry by a country mile is home brand fish food. So the good old Coles or Woolies fish food outsells everything else in the aquarium industry by heaps. Now, as far as I'm concerned, you may as well be feeding your fish cardboard. I have had regular reports from customers that normally feed high quality foods such as Danichi. Then they've run out of Danichi, it's not been convenient for them to get down to the shop. They've popped into Woolies, they've seen some no-name fish food there, they've bought it and literally have lost fish, as in fish have died just by changing the diet. I'm not a fan of flakes at the best of time because they're not generally bioencapsulated and the vitamins just dissolve straight away and the cooking process of the flake destroys the integrity of most of the proteins and so forth. That's why I like the raw based foods such as your slow cooked Danichi which is bioencapsulated. The results that I get out of these pellets are absolutely extraordinary both on maintaining water quality and on the health and colour of my fish. So anyway, I guess I really want to ask people, don't buy low quality fish food, it really isn't worth it. Anyway, if you have got anything to add to this video, chuck a little note at the bottom of the video. But as a fish keeper, I think you need to aim for quality. You pay a bit more, but for the results you get in the immune system of your fish and the look and feel of your fish, is really worth the extra money. Tell us what you think.